Hello, happy Sunday. Um, I'm here to play some Stardew Valley. It's been a while, I feel, since we've played Stardew. It's, I want to say like a week and a half? My goodness, I don't even remember the last time we played Stardew was, but I wanted a little bit change of pace from Pokemon. So we're going to just relax and chill. It's going to be a chill day today. And play a little bit of Stardew. Probably a shorter stream. But. It'll be a good one. I hope. Hope everyone's been doing well. Um, my day has been pretty, pretty chill. Mwah, love you Sebastian. I've had. A decent weekend. It's been very. Very busy. But also. It's like a good kind of busy, I guess. Like just hang out with people. Um, but oh, I forgot it probably thunderstorm yesterday, yeah. Uh, but because I'm back in school, I also have a lot of schoolwork to be doing, so it's kind of like trying to juggle meeting up with people and stuff like that, and being a good student at the same time. Yucky! Who wants to be a student? Haha! <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, I gotta organize everything, because... Why do I have 33 muscles? How the hell did I get 33 muscles? What? Anyways. Oh, Leo sent me something! Oh, I'm happy. I oh, That's really sweet. Like crap, and Kent is giving me a bomb. God, bro. You really did come back from the war, I guess. Uh, I was like, why is it empty here? And then I realized it's because... Um, I'm not going to bring this. Because I dropped off the hoe to be upgraded. Oh. Okay, let me think of what we're going to do. Uh, where's my list? This is for Pokemon Violet. Okay, uh... It's not the last of the season, but I have to do prepare something on the last day of season. It's supposed to upgrade to Iridium Sprinklers. I'm going to create a mill or a fish pond. Oh, and then on Ginger Island, there's a guy trapped. Okay, see, this is why I need to keep notes. Because you'd think I would remember things, but I really do not. Okay, let's make some star fruit wine. I love you. Hi. I have shit this. Okay. Um. Finally, almost getting rid of all my trash. Okay, let's harvest some stuff. All the blueberries. And this one hot pepper. Delicious. 
Let's go see what mushrooms are growing. Oh my god, please. Thank you. Anything here? Nope. Uh, are you ready to be picked? You are. And my hops. Okay, let's put this away before I deal with my slimes and animals and get caught on things because of course I would. Okay. Uh, I think I had one more piece of trash. Yeah, this one. Go see the slimes first. Drink a cup of coffee. Uh, I don't actually know what those are, so I'm just going to ignore them. I, I missed. Actually, I guess I could search them up. What are these? It's like a slime hutch. So maybe I should write Stardew Valley. Oh no, no, I don't even need to. They are slime balls. Slimes produce slime balls on a daily basis. Um, slime ball can be right clicked to release multiple slime items. Yeah. Ah, sorry, I bumped my mic. Good to know, good to know. So I gotta right click it. Ooh, that's a lot of slime. Put that in there, okay, we go. Oh, they're gonna meet, have fun friends. Not too much fun. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I don't have my bucket. Milk pail? I guess it's a milk pail. Let's put some truffle oil. I'm gonna milk them all up. And deal with them all before I release them into the wild. That way they don't run away from me as easily. Okay, be free, friends. Oh god. Oh, I got a dinosaur egg. Let me pick it up. God. Uh, what can I do with this dinosaur egg? Have I shipped dino mail yet? I don't remember. Let's make some dino mail, I guess. Before that, be free. Just demolishing the grass. It is. I need to like, expand their pen at this point. Nope. I'm gonna make the dino mail first, so I'm gonna put this here. Roots go in here, and then I'm gonna sell these. Put this away. Alright. Let's go deal with the fishing stuff too. Uh, before I forget. Tomorrow is this thing. Okay. Um, and then I think for the guy trapped on the island, I think I probably have to bring a bomb. That's what I'm assuming I have to do for him. Poor guy is just stuck. Town. I always 
just mix them up. Let's see, is Alex friends with me? Yeah. We good. Oh, I was supposed to gather pieces of stone. Oh shit, I only have two days left for that one. Okay, maybe we'll do that today. We'll just go stone hunting. Just go to the mines. Oh well, I don't have my hoe for that. Haley and I are BFFs. Good to know, good to know. Take a sip of my nice tea here. Mm. Delicious. Uh, I don't remember where I put this. And I think I put the other one up there. Grapes, yep. Five. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just gonna bring all my bombs with me because I need lots of stone for this quest. Okay, so let's bring these up here. To the mines we go. Let's we'll just go to the regular ones. I guess we could go to the skeleton one. Eh. Eh. We have bad luck though. No, I should go to the regular mines. I don't want to die in the skeleton mines. But then, oh, but then I don't have a chance of getting iridium. Okay, here you know what I'll do. I'll bring a farm totem. So we can come back at any time. Okay, so we'll this and this. Alright. Uh, sorry, Pam. I don't want to pay 500 gold. <laughs> Although I feel like, oh, I should have brought a gift for <sighs> Sandy. Oh well, whatever. Whatever. Um, die. Nice. Okay, I guess I'll put a bomb because I need the stone anyways. Like seven hundred pieces of stone. The eye. Oh my god, I hate that they fly in patterns. Thank you. Thank you. Oh god.
Oh, well, there's that thing. Why is... Is it because I'm drinking coffee? I'm like, why are you not exploding? was that sound? That's that sound. What? I disagree. Uh, I'll see one of these. I actually want to fight this bat because it's going to drop me some iridium. Nice. I disagree with the range on these things. Prismatic shard. Don't mind if I do. Okay, can I have- where is the- the- the, the next floor. There it is. Some reason I thought I was far enough away when I very clearly was not. Did I get everything? For some reason, I feel like I did it. Okay, I'm just tripping, I guess. Trippin' trippin'. Oh god. Let's eat some stuff. Let's, you know, let's just eat all this bread because my health is worrisome. I'll eat this too.
supposed to be a bad luck day, but I feel like we're not having bad luck. But maybe it's also because I'm just blowing things up. So we are getting more drops than I thought we would. Okay, that's another ladder. Please die, thank you. Oh, please. I guess it's just just be the last level I go on, so let's just clear it. I guess I could bomb these, but since it's the last level, just save our bombs. actually found something that we've never found before. Kind of surprised. Oh, I didn't go to Robin's today. That's okay, whatever. Oh, and she's closed tomorrow because it's a holiday. Ah, dumb things, whatever. <laughs> During the night, Gelato gave birth to a baby. You were pregnant? News to me. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, I accidentally knocked my tea my glass into my teapot. Name it goat? It's a cow! <laughs> I think we already have a goat that's named after you. <laughs> okay. Alright, 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 alright. The new baby white cow is gonna be called the goat. <laughs> Came just in time, man. I didn't even know she was pregnant. I hope you've been doing well. Yes, anyway, anyway, after the after that, more importantly is hello. Uh oh I can learn a recipe today. Nice. Hi Sebastian. Uh, I'm not sure what uh that's a big move. Um, also, I realized that it's no longer holiday, so we need to change out my hat. Because I don't remember where I put my hats, so I think I'll put them here. Let's go for, uh, let's go for the tiger hat. Yeah, it's cute. Alright, there's that festival thing happening. Okay. Nice hat. All the hats are good. Except it kind of doesn't really contain my hair properly, but that's alright. You win some, you lose some. Ah, let me out.
I realize I should. This hat is better fitting for like Halloween time because then it can be my costume, but that's okay. Um, oh, there's like a single strawberry ready for harvest and this ancient fruit. Oh, fuck. Okay. All right. I didn't know the ancient fruits stayed. I guess that's news to me. Hello, Lena Designs. No problem. Thanks for dropping by. Even though you are out, I'm assuming. I'm good. I'm kind of tired, but it's because I didn't have coffee this morning. But I'm trying not to be reliant on coffee if I don't need to. Because I got enough sleep. So I'm trying to power through the need for caffeine. I do have tea, but it's like jasmine tea. So like... Technically, it's not really caffeinated. Okay, also, it's the last day of the season. And do sunflowers grow in the fall? I don't know. Let me let me search it up. Sunflower. Uh, oh, they do. Okay, so I will not cut them down. How about poppies? Uh, oh, yeah, only summer. And then these are fairy roses. I hope you're doing well, though. It's nice. Oh, they grow in the fall. Those aren't fairy roads. What are these? These are sp summer spangles. Well, I'm assuming they only grow in the summer if their name were summer spangles. And I would be... Confused. I clicked the wrong one. It's this one. No. Summer spangle. Wait. Wait why don't... Why, where's the seeds? Are they just called spangle seeds? They are just called spangle seeds, I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, they only grow in the summer. <laughs> what a mess. Oh, my inventory's full. Too much harvesting. My lord. Oh, lord. Um, I have to put this ancient fruit here. Okay, let's go back. Spangle seeds. It's actually wild. Alright, we'll take this honey. Uh, let's go look at our slime. Hutch, did I pet the cat? I did not pet the cat. I should go pet the cat. The pet cat! Where is the cat upstairs? I have to pay cat tax now. Gotta go pet the cat. Where is the cat? Where is Pancake? She's sleeping. I love you. Okay, we have pet the cat. We have accomplished our duty. Uh, I don't remember which one of these are for flowers. I think it's this one. Fashion looks so different. I do have a mod that changes. Oh, we hugged again or kissed, whatever. That changed what changes kind of what they look like. Um, because I wanted them to wear weather appropriate clothes. And so I was like, please stop wearing shorts in the winter time. So then I downloaded this mod, not realizing that it also changed their general appearance. And then I was like, well, I don't know how to turn one part off and not the other part. So. Now they just, all, all of them look a little different, but that's all right. Um, yeah, I like it too. I, sometimes I get confused when I see like the new sprite and I'm like, who is this new character? And then I realize, wait, I downloaded this mod. <laughs> I did this to myself. But it's worth it when it's like the winter and I they're actually wearing coats and I'm like thank god although um, I don't wear weather appropriate clothes I still wear my little overall shorts combo in the winter time but that's okay <laughs> I'm not as important I guess no problem thanks for dropping in appreciate it Uh, please let me through rabbit, thank you. Alright, there's no one in here. Ah! Oh yeah, okay. Uh, here. 
do this. Oh, and then I gotta grab the stuck egg. Uh, just eggs. Oh, there's one more egg. Ah! Let me make void mail. And then I'm gonna grab a truffle to make truffle oil with. Okay, so we'll sell these. Uh, and then we'll go to the traveling merchant. So what am I doing today? So I have to finish this quest and get, somehow get 400 more pieces of wood. And then I wanted to, oh, this hardwood tree is ready to cut down. I'll cut that, cut it down when I come back. Um, and then I wanted to like upgrade. I want this flower. This is why I couldn't be a speedrunner because they have to ignore these things because it's not optimal and then I would just like cry. Um, I wanted to like reorganize my farm layout to replace things with, uh, what, what am I calling them? Freaking iridium sprinklers. <laughs> That's the word. But I don't know if I can do all of that by today. today. Why would I start run with uh, Wow, can I read? Why would I speed run star dude? Why wouldn't you speed run star dude is the question. Why not make a very nice, slow paced, cozy game into the most stressful experience of the world? I'm just kidding. I actually don't know. Sometimes I like to watch people speed run different games even if I don't play the game. And I feel like. I don't know. Stardew is like an interesting game to speedrun because there's not a lot of you can skip a lot of the cutscenes, so you don't have to sit there and mash like and you do in like Pokemon games. Um, and it feels like it requires the least amount of tech because like you know certain speedruns like pla especially platformers they're like oh you have to do this really specific pixel frame trick in order to go fast and then I'm like I can't I mean I don't want to go fast anymore. But I don't yeah I don't think I would speedrun. Stardew, to be honest. I tried just like on my own time speedrunning a couple games, just like looking at beginner guides and stuff. And it was like okay, but I was like really bad at it. But of course, when you try anything for the first time, you're gonna be bad at it, so it's natural. It's natural. That's what I tell myself. I'll put this here. I already have two of them in there. Wow. Look at that. Um, let's make some more iridium ore. Curious what Elden Ring speedruns? Ooh, yeah. See, those ones are like... See, they. I feel like they require skill. Which maybe I don't have. I remember where I put these because they're classified as a vegetable. They're over here. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, okay, I remember now. Unless they're like any game being speedrun, I just watch in like complete and utter awe because I'm like, wow. So much practice in this game. Y'all are doing great. <laughs> speedrun one. You know, actually, fun fact. I've never played The Sims before. Um, It's like never been a game I had when I was a kid. And then beyond that, I just never was interested in it. So I just never ended up playing it like ever. <laughs> I don't know if I would. Especially because just like from what I hear, it can be really addicting. And people are like, Oh, I can't go down there. Alright, that's cool. Whatever. Um, I can go put this... Oh, we can donate that. Maybe? I don't know. 
Yeah, like, for what I hear is like, oh, I spent two weeks playing The Sims non-stop. And I'm like, are you okay? Did you, like, sleep at all? Oh, we get a sloth skeleton. It's free now? Oh, I don't have to pirate it? <laughs> I had a friend in university who bought The Sims, and I looked at her with, like, utter confusion confusion in my face because I was like, why would you buy The Sims when it's so easy to, like, just um, pirate? Oh, the expansions aren't free. Ah, that's how they get you. They're like, base game, cool, but you want all the really, really nice decorations and stuff? Well, you gotta pay. That's how they get you. Uh, we're gonna go to the bus stop. I do not think we are gathering 400 pieces of stone in like six hours. We sure can try. But I don't think it's happening. I'm gonna just put this here for now, because fuck it. Um, Alright, let's go try to cut, get some stone. 400 pieces of stone is a lot of stone, man. <laughs> I really shouldn't have left this quest for the last day, but... What can you do? Dun, 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 dun. Let's go here. I don't know why I went here, because I realized that all the stones are very far apart. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. Okay, let's just go to floor 100. Oh, fuck, it's this floor. Okay, whatever. You know what would make me go faster? If I drank some coffee? Who would have thought? Oh, well, that's the next floor. Okay, wait. I'm gonna move these over. But do the do the mods for Sims do the same thing as like the expansion packs? Like are they as good? I would assume so, but you know, you never know. Please go away. I'm just trying to collect some stone. Nah, they're not the same. See? See? I mean, mods are pretty good, not gonna lie. I say playing this game modded. You can't hurt me, slimes. Most mods are pretty basic. Ooh. I mean, maybe I'll consider. Maybe if I'm on break, I'll consider downloading The Sims and giving it a try on stream. <laughs> that might be fun. This looks like a good spot to plop a bomb. But at least you can get more furniture and clothing stuff. True. I'd also feel like if I did end up playing it, I'd want like un unlimited money. <laughs> because if I'm going to be able to design my dream house, it better not be limited by funds. Oh god, go away. You you can hit me. The slimes can't, but you can. Did I find the the, the, the staircase already? I can't remember. I think I did. Yeah, it's over here. Ooh, there's a chief for that. Alright, I'm in. Sounds like a plan.
I think we're gonna have to skip this festival, unfortunately. So either we skip the festival. Okay, but realistically, I don't know if I can get 300 extra pieces of wood. So it might just be useless trying to do this. Because I also... Hmm. Hmm. I'll think about it. Maybe we'll do like one more floor. It's okay. We'll continue. They won't miss me at one festival, even though Sebastian was like, Hey, I'm really excited for this festival. Sorry. I have to do things for your mom. <laughs> it's ASMR collecting items in Stardew. I do agree though. It's such a nice little boop 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 sound. It's like, uh, you know that fidget toy that's like the. you poke the little bubbles and they pop back out? Feels like that. Satisfying indeed. Die bat. You and me. Let's go. Oh, I want that. Ah, there's no way. That's so sad. We're gonna we're gonna get so close to finishing it, and it's just not gonna happen. So sad to not finish a quest because I sure have. Ooh, we play on mobile. Oh yeah, there was a new update recently. That's fun. Where was the staircase? I don't remember. Ugh, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just go home. It's we're not gonna make it. That's so sad. What was included in the new mobile update? Cause I know I know they'd had the update recently because I follow Concerned Ape on Twitter, but I don't know actually like how what the diff I don't want to say like how far apart the two versions are, PC versus mobile, but oh shit! I mean, I'm sure it's yeah, it is like very different to do. A mobile game, having it ported onto mobile. Mobile? Mobile? Okay, I'm gonna mute myself for a hot second while I pour some more tea. Stay hydrated, y'all. I think Sebastian's gonna be mad at me for missing the festival. I hope not. See, look, he's wearing a. Look, his outfit is different! I'm so glad you're wearing weather appropriate clothing! <laughs> Can you uh, download mods on the mobile version? We didn't have the area above the gas bus station. Talk to Willie. Talk to something behind that door. Oh yeah. Oh, so you probably got the island. 
that island, like the thing that's behind the boat, is new to me as well. Because I think when I stopped playing Sardu, it was added as an update. So that part I am experiencing also newly. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. Well, that it kind of is what I wanted. Uh, so we are experiencing that new first hand together. Um, this. Oh, that's cool. Oh, true. I guess that's true because dealing with the phone is so annoying. <laughs> Moving files. Every time I have to find a file on my phone, I go, oh shit, that's gonna be a nightmare to deal with. Uh, okay, let's see. Let me put everything back and organize them because I am confused. Oh, I have so much stone that it doesn't even all fit here. Can you believe it? Put it over here. Can't even put it over here. Okay, we'll just put one over here. Am I putting sprinklers in here? I have a singular iridium sprinkler. Okay. Put them over here. Oh my god. I can't even. I can't do this right now. Excuse me, sorry. Oh, and you didn't have- Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's like a pretty fat update then. There's lots of things happening. Yeah. That'll be real fun. Why did I open this up? Oh yeah, I wanted this. some red cabbages put those in the pickle jar that's not a cabbage it is the same color as a red cabbage though what really i didn't see that all i saw were like people were really excited for the update like why would you get give him backlash he's like one person man what that's insane he does. He tries so hard, honestly. I feel like... Uh, that's, I'd be really mad. Honestly, those people are lucky at all they got an update. <laughs> that's, that's what I think. That's so rude of them. What the fuck? That's so fucked up. It's cheaper. On yeah, I imagine it would be cheaper on mobile. That's so many complaints. Also, like, he's one guy doing his best. And not only that, it's like... It's... Like, obviously when you buy a game, it's it's a finished product. But, like, I feel like especially with indie games, they're so good about giving you, like, updates and, like, new um, content without having to, like, buy a DLC or something. <coughs> Coughs. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> certain AAA companies. Um, so, like, how can you complain about waiting a little bit for, like, a little- what is essentially a free update? <sighs> people. People make me so mad. <laughs> Where's my watering can? Ooh, it's a two years. Yeah, I mean, like, Stardew is still a fun game even without those, right? So it's like... Uh, honestly... And, and like, not only that, like, you know he's also working on a... Or they're also working on a different game. So it's not like, it's like, what were you doing for two years? It's like, they were working on their other game. And also, uh, you're, you're the mobile patch and also other things. It's kind of like, come on, man. Come on. Show a little sympathy. Oh, 
Oh my god, this pig is just going ham with these truffles. Like, damn. Is this goat? Hey, it's you, the baby cow, whose name is Goat. It's me! <laughs> clear this poor guy's pen. Oh, that's- I was wondering why they were all inside of the pen. I'm like, why didn't they come outside? It's because there was a piece of wood in their way. <laughs> I freed them. They are free. I was like, why are you not going in there? It's because they weren't already in there. So let's put this away and this one. Okay. Put that away. Let's grab a truffle for some oil. And then can use put this one here. Okay, let us rearrange this farm. Uh, actually, before that, let me figure out how many iridium sprinklers I can even make. Okay, so I need one gold bar, one iridium, one battery pack. See how many battery packs do I have? 22. So let's just make. Not that I will make 22 of these, but we'll just bring them all out. Okay. Because they cover like quite a bit. Alright. Let us take these out. So if I stop talking, it's because I'm thinking in my head, trying to calculate what is the best possible placement of sprinklers. Um, so let's make 10 for now. Oh god, okay. Uh, here. Oh, look at that. It worked out perfectly. Oh wait, but maybe I should have put them up. No, but then I want to walk there. Okay. But if I put it here... Okay, yeah, it should be fine if I put it here. I just got me a heart attack. Why? What happened? Oh no! Is everything alright? Okay, I'll put that there. I think technically we could put one here, but we won't. Um... This is difficult because I literally still have plants planted on the side, but we'll take these ones out. Oh my goodness, I hate when that happens. <laughs> I play this game every single day and I hate it. It's cause it's called I don't have my glasses on, so I look at- I have to look at things and I have to go Is that an insect? Or is that my hair? And every day, I cry <laughs> Having to play this game <laughs> Yep, me too <laughs> It is not just you, can confirm You are not alone Um, oh, but there's a piece of corn in my way. Okay, wait. Put it up there. Oh, now they're off out of sync! Oh, that's really annoying. Whatever. Okay, I'm just, I just do not see. We're just gonna ignore it. If we pretend it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen, right? That's how that works. I just put these here. Okay. Um, this is probably more like real estate than we need, but that's alright. 
It doesn't help my hair is dark. Oh no. My hair is also pretty dark, so I, I can definitely relate with you. And every day we play the game of, is that my hair or is that a spider? And then I cry because sometimes it is a spider. And one time, uh, when I lived in, um, not this house, but my house in university, I cried a lot because, is it only three? Okay, cool. Because I thought it was hair and it was not hair, it was a spider and I cried. Come. And then it was actually even worse because it wasn't, it wasn't a one spider. <laughs> It was two house centipedes on top of each other. And I screamed and I cried. Yeah. <laughs> not a fun time. Not, not a fun time. And then one ran towards me and then the other one ran into my room. And then I was like, well, this is it. This is where, this is where my life ends. Cause I, I slept on the couch that day. That's what I'll say. Oh my god, it's already 6 p.m. Okay, well, I guess today I'll buy crops tomorrow. This is why I wanted to get set this up before the season ended, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> she Oh my god. I. I don't know, man. I don't know how I'm still alive. I just, I, for, I force myself to forget it because then otherwise I would cry. It's like one time, this didn't happen to me, but it happened to my friend who was like sleeping over at her cousin's place and they were all like sleeping in the basement. And then like she feels something like fall onto her like leg. So she like thinks it's her cousin um, like throwing something at her, right? So she like goes, she like grumpily is like, stop throwing something at me and like picks it up and like throws it back. And then. The cousin's like, Don't, why, why I didn't throw anything at you? Stop throwing things at me. And they throw it back. And they like throw it back and forth like tw two, uh, one more time. And then finally they turn on the light. And they realize they are not throwing like a ha hair elastic. They are throwing a centipede, like a, a house centipede at each other. And I would have just, just stopped breathing probably if that happened to me. <laughs> Thank you. It was truly... Truly a terrible experience, I must say. <laughs> I ooh, I get the shivers just thinking about it. I'm like, oh my god, that's so nasty. Okay, we'll stop talking about the spiders, or else I will cry. See, this is why sometimes I'm like, wow, I would like love to live in a different country that's like warmer than Canada is. And then I think about all the other, what, what what that entails, aka like bugs and stuff, and I go, mm, you know what? Maybe maybe I'm good. Maybe I'm happy living in this in this nice cold environment so that other bugs cannot live. You know? Oh yeah, insects. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's change the topic. But yeah, that's why I'm like, you know what, Canada? You're not so bad after all. If I don't have to deal with bugs, count that as a win. Yes, it was. But it was a uni house, so naturally it was just gross. <laughs> like, honestly, um... No shade to my housemates, but definitely that house could have been cleaner. <laughs> also, but like just because it's like a rented house, um, it's not even really well taken care of by the landlord. So there's like plenty of like cracks and stuff for the bugs to come in through. Like at one point, my uh, not my room, but my roommate's room because we both lived in the basement. So she had mold in her room. And the landlord was like, I don't want to do anything about it. And we're like, what do you mean you don't want to do anything about it? It's moldy. Yeah. That was fun. And you know, the, the, the kicker was she still had to pay for the room. So basically, because she like moved out for like a month, 
into a different room because this was over the summertime. And then her landlord, and then our landlord came in to like rip the walls off and like clean it basically. Um, and then he was still like, well, you should pay for the room still because you, that's, that's the room you gotta live in. So like, what do you mean you don't want to pay for it? And I'm like, what do you mean we still have to pay for the room? It's not livable. There's mold in it. <laughs> yeah. Landlords. Some of them are nice. Some of them are not so nice. And when you encounter a not so nice one, it is sad. Move this rare crow over here. Let's actually move it over like this so there's less overlap. Less freaked out by mold and insects. Oh, for sure. Because the mold doesn't very quickly run at you. <laughs> Thank God it doesn't, honestly. Um, okay, it's cyber bed. Today. What did I do today? Just... Just prepare the fields, you know? Like my actual job as a farmer is. Even though that might be more dangerous, true. It's very true. Yeah. Ooh, but insects, just thinking about it. I don't like it. Hi, Sebastian. Do we have any pizza? Uh, probably. Are you gonna kiss me? You don't wanna kiss me? Fine, I'll look at the frog. It's a cute frog. It's gonna rain tomorrow, and there's gonna rain on the island tomorrow. It's just all the rain. Um, where are you going, bud? Give me a kiss. Mwah, thank you. Pizza does sound good. I could go for some pizza today. Uh... Thanks, wizard. Wow, look, all my hard work and it didn't even stay. I have no words. Put this here and this. Oh, JK. Uh, we'll take this out then. I'm actually craving some garlic bread. I haven't had garlic bread in a hot minute. Every time I order pizza, I eat it with my dad. And then he doesn't see the love that is garlic bread. So then we don't order garlic bread. And then I'm sad. Because what the hell? What do you mean I don't have garlic bread with my pizza? Hi, video date. It's queen to you too. Hope you're doing well. You're thinking that today as well. Maybe it's time for some garlic bread. What is. Oh, fuck. I did not mean to kill those sunflowers, but I guess it happened. No problem. Thanks for popping in. Ooh, work party, tee hee. What is the occasion? Like, it's Lunar New Year soon, but I feel like your work party is not because it's Lunar New Year soon. And I'm like, is it like a belated New Year's? Oh, when you're married. Oh, so it's like a goodbye party. All right. I thought it was gonna be like a seasonal one. And I'm like, there's no. There's no fun seasons. That's the, that's why this is like the worst time of the year because all the fun holidays are over. And then you're you can be like, well, egg. There's Valentine's Day on in February, and I say, I don't care about Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the word I'm looking for? 
Oh my god, what's it called? No salt about Valentine's Day, but I don't really, yeah. Maybe I'll go buy discount chocolate after it's done. <laughs> after Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, I just said no salt. <laughs> I'll have a Palentine's Day. Oh my god, where did my mouse go? It, sorry, it left the screen. Um, uh, I'll have a Palentine's Day. Take that. I actually think I might have a midterm on Valentine's Day. Wait, let me. Do I have a midterm on Valentine's? Give me a second. I know I have to go check. Okay. Oh no, no, no. That's okay. My midterms are the week before Valentine's Day. <sighs> that would suck. Not that I'm doing anything on that day. Treat yourself. <laughs> All right. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> I had to double check. Okay, not that, not that I'm spending Valentine's Day with anyone, but just in case. It's like, um, in undergrad for like three years in a row, I always had a midterm or a test or something um, on Halloween. So like, oh no, and you know what? It was and it, it, not on Halloween. Honestly, even on Halloween would be, would be better because then you could just write it and then leave. It was always the day before Halloween. No, no, no. What am I trying to say? I'm like a fucking mess. It was the day after Halloween because then on Halloween, I had to study for the test I had the next day. And then all my friends would be like, Nelly, let's go trick-or-treating. And I'll be like, I can't. I just study and be sad because if it was on if my midterm was just a day earlier i would have just written it really quickly and then ran to get ready and go and have fun that night but no no none of that because i had to be a good student i mean like and then i had some friends who like just said fuck it i'm gonna go trick-or-treating or i'm gonna go to the halloween partying anyways and honestly, maybe I should have done that because, you know what? We all ended up in the same place anyways. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> There's no, no time for regrets. Was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing. Excuse me, but I'm also kind of crying. What did I do with my youth? I'm just kidding. I'm still in my youth. The 30s are the new 20s, that's what I'll say. <laughs> Frog. Oh, Pam with her little tracks, with her little fall time tracksuit is really cute. Oh my god, Pam heard us talking about me wasting my youth studying, and she's like, I also used to be young once. Very fitting, Pam. Imagine Pam being young. I wonder if she would look like Penny. Or if Penny looks more like her dad. That's an interesting thought. Um, oh, you know what? I need to grab a prismatic shard. I feel like she was born as an adult woman. <laughs> it's like a... It's like those kids that are born with names like like Hilda and it's like a baby and you're like what do you mean this baby is Hilda I thought all Hildas were born as like 60 year old woman Pam probably was 80s hot honestly Pam Pam's the kind of person that probably peaked in high school I'm sorry uh, let's go to town <laughs> I'm sorry, Pam, but you really look like the type that peaked in high school. Ellie is just wearing his regular outfit, I guess. A hundred grapes? That's a lot of grapes, bro. Um, that's a lot of grapes. That's a lot of grapes, bro. <laughs> Poor Pam. You're the one that said you... Um, you couldn't imagine her as a child. You're not allowed to switch this up and say that I'm the mean one now. You were an active participant in the bullying, goat. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, I'll do the, 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 the prismatic jelly because I don't want to ship 100 grapes. That's a lot of grape. I rubbed my eye, but I forgot I was wearing sunscreen, so now my eye, my eye is tearing up. Give me a second. Ah, uh, as I wipe it with a tissue. This is what I, this is the karma, I guess, for bullying Pam. <laughs> oh no. It's karma. Pour some water onto this tissue. I'm not wearing glasses, so I can't even read chat. But just know that I am sad. And that Pam has her revenge. Okay. I think I think my eyes are better now. I can see. Let's take a sip of water since my water bottle's already open. <laughs> I'm just tearing up. <laughs> Y'all are so rude. <laughs> I also wish Krovis would put a request. Because then we'd get extra friendship points with him. I honestly considered... Like, after I had married Sebastian, and then I remembered that you can technically be roommates with Krovis, I was like, oh, maybe I should have been roommates with Krovis, because I don't... I mean, like, I've already romanced Sebastian before, but I've never romanced Krovis. Although, I guess it's not a romance with Krovis, it's like a... Bromance. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I was gonna go up here. Oh, it's the beach farm. Oh. So you guys, did you have like all the other farm types? Just not the beach one or? Wait. Oh, you need five ancient fruit. Okay. Oh, just not the beach one. That's fun. Does that mean you were pretty much caught up with everything from the PC version, or is there still stuff that is missing? Hi, Abigail. What you doing? Um, any trash? Yes, I do have trash. Yeah, yay! Same version hype. Let's go. Uh, put this here. Excuse me. PC also has 1.5. Yes. I only knew that I was on 1.5 recently because I was looking into speedrunning Stardew Valley because I was lit, uh, bored. And didn't want to study <laughs> and do work. So I was like, what if I learned to speed run Stardew Valley? And then it was like, the fastest version is actually 1.4 on PC. And I was like, what version am I running? And then that's when I went to go check. And then that's about as far as I got. Because then they were like, here's a guide on how to like downgrade your version. And I'm like, this is too much words. These are too many words for me. I'm going to give up right here. I was supposed to buy seeds. That's what I was supposed to do. Let's go do that. I have this nice, I bought this nice candle like a while ago. Um, and it's, it smells like hot chocolate and it's just glorious. Oh my god, Lewis has a little bow tie. Too bad we don't like Lewis. Okay. You won't <laughs> like that. It is delicious smelling. I think it's, uh, 
it was like a like a winter seasonal candle. I got it at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> no, we don't like Lewis because he. It's because you don't know the Stardew lore video day. It's because he's the mayor of the town. And he's having a hoo 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 hee hee sneaky relationship with Marnie, who is the, the rancher, the one who sells you animals. But Marnie wants to go public with their relationship, but Lewis doesn't because he's like, think about my refutation, Marnie. And it's like, screw you, Lewis. If you love Marnie, you should go public. Who cares? It's a small town. Ain't nobody care about your reputation as mayor. <laughs> oh, you didn't know? <laughs> oh, no. Nobody knows the Stardew lore. <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 they're in cahoots. That's why... Um, so there's like a lot of different hints that they're dating. Like first, the first one is like Lewis sends you a quest and he's like i lost my lucky purple underpants can you find them for me and you go find them and they're in marnie's bedroom and you're like why are these underpants in your bedroom marnie um and then there's like another cutscene where they're like if you walk into town late at night they're like arguing like Oh, like, I'm tired of sneaking around, Lewis. That's Marnie. And then Lewis is like, But think about my reputation, Marnie. And then and then they hear you coming, and then they go, Were you here the whole time? And you're like, awkwardly, like, You can either be like, I won't tell anyone, or I'm gonna tell the whole town. Um, and then there's another secret thing where if you interact with a bush at a certain time, after getting a secret note, they, like, pop up kissing, and then they run away, and they scatter. Yeah, why is that a quest? I don't know. <laughs> You gotta go talk to Concerned Ape, man. I don't know why that's a quest. Let's buy lots of pumpkin seeds, because why not? Uh, and corn. We already have some corn, so we won't buy some corn. Let's buy some of these. Oh, let's buy some yams. I like yams. Uh, cranberry seeds. And wheat. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough space for all of these, I'm realizing. Guess we'll find out. Alright, I don't think I have enough room for all of these plants, but we'll find out. I feel bad for Marnie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright, thanks for stopping by, video date. Have a good work party. Tell your manager I said goodbye. I'm just kidding, don't tell your manager I said goodbye. They're gonna be like, who? I agree. I wish there was like a like a quest where you could either like fo almost force their relationship. Well, I don't know. I just think their relationship should be public because then Marnie will be happy and I like I like Marnie. She's a nice person. So I would want her to be happy. Um I personally think she should be with the adventurous person because I'm pretty sure like at one of the festivals the adventurer guy is like Oh, Marnie is so pretty. Should I ask her to dance? And I wanna be like, Yes, do it prefer that to Lewis. Okay, I... Oh god. Oh no, they're not gonna- it's not gonna be even. Well, this is the life I live. Who said my farm had to be nice and pretty and rose? Not me, that's who.
Some people have such organized farms. Yeah, I don't know, man. Some people are nice and they have all these nice pretty paths. And like... It's like people who have really... Uh, pretty islands in Animal Crossing. And I've like, I don't know how you do that, man. Like, I try my best to make a nice island. And every time I fail. Oh, I'm missing one. Well, now I'm just gonna have... Well, now I'm just gonna have a singular grape here. Actually, no, I'm just not gonna plant anything. No, I should plant something there. Oh, it's gonna bother me. Okay, I'm gonna plant a grape here. No, I won't. It's gonna bother me if I plant a grape there. I can't. I can't do it. But yeah, people that have, like, really nicely organized and, like, the theme... Wow, excuse me. I don't know what's happening. Like, the nice themed... Um... I'll put a flower here. Actually, that's a good idea. Animal Crossing islands are the same vibe where I'm like, how are you so organized? How do you have the time? Maybe they have like, I don't know, maybe they pause time because I feel like it's it takes so much time to organize your farm into pretty rows and stuff. Oh, you don't like paths? That's fair. I do know like sometimes like I have the mod that prevents um, weeds and damage and like stuff like that, so I don't need it. But I know sometimes people put it put paths down so that weeds don't block their path when they go on to go to certain areas. I don't know where I'm gonna put all of these grapes. <laughs> Sometimes I buy things and don't realize that it may cause issues. Such as this. Hmm. Thinking. gonna be a fence of grapes I guess but I have to have one area open so I'll leave this open so I can get in through here Penguins in the game. Oh, that'd be really fun. I think there should be like a winter themed area. That'd be really fun. Okay, maybe we'll leave them this way. Okay, there. It's ugly, but it works. all that I care about. Oh god, I have still have so many things to plant and the time is ticking down. Getting late, I am aware. Oh fudge. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, I'll put my fairy roses up here. And you know what, we'll just plant these tomorrow because I want to plant- Actually, I can plant them over here. Oh, 
Oh, I missed one. Oh, what a mess this is. This is this is a hot mess right here. I realize I can fill my watering can in my thing. Ah, but it's late. We're just gonna go to bed. <laughs> we'll plant the rest of them later. You found a dino egg! By fishing, yay! That's fun. I don't remember where I found my first dino egg. I think I also found it from fishing. In like a month? That's, I mean, it's pretty good still. I think, where did I get my dino egg? Yeah, I definitely found it in a chest, I think. Or maybe I found it in the mines? I don't really remember. Hey, it could have taken you two months. Or five. But instead, just one. <laughs> I think I was really lucky in this playthrough specifically. Because I feel like I remember finding a prismatic shard really early on. I don't remember where. But I remember being like, oh, I found one already. Although I think you can... It's seeded to get one in when you get reach like level, what, 50 in the mines? But... I got, definitely got mine before that, and I was like, wow, look at that. Oh, it's raining. I should have put my animals away. But I was too busy farming. You want pizza again, Sebastian? It's like, you wanted pizza yesterday. Get some new dialogue. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, well, it's raining. Look at all my nice garden. Isn't it beautiful? I wish I had left an opening on this side, but that's okay. Oh my god, I still have yams! I forgot about the yams! Bruh. What a mess. It's okay, I'm pretty sure if I remember my social studies correctly, which I probably don't, so maybe I shouldn't say this, um, but I'm pretty sure that they, isn't it a thing? I was going to say, I was going to say it like certainly, and then I realized I'm just going to say it as an estimation. Um, didn't they used to like plant crops, different types of crops all in one area? Because it helps with, like, I don't know, the soil. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try again. Okay, because we le I swear to God we learned when I was a child in social studies that, like, uh, specifically, I think the Aboriginal people or a certain portion of them would plant certain vegetables together because they, they helped each other. It was That's why they were called the Three Sisters. It's like corn, squash, and I don't remember something else. And it's like they, those specific crops kind of grow in harmony with each other. So they help protect each other and also don't use the same nutrients or like their roots grow at different levels in the soil and stuff like that. Uh, so basically what I'm trying to say is that this was calculated and I definitely meant to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that an No, no, no. This is just, like, me trying to play off the fact that my farm looks really, really bad. <laughs> By pretending, like, something I learned back in elementary school that I might be quoting wrong said I should do it this way, so therefore I am imitating it in real life. Fake it till you make it. That's the way I have survived in my life so far. Oh my god, wait, what's happening? Okay. I think, yeah, there's 
two eggs. Oh, I can only I only have room for one. Okay. I have to find room for thirty two more yams. So wait, let me look at this. One, two one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. 20, 21, 22, 28, 24. Also, each iridium sprinkler has room for 24. Okay, let's use the, these ones since I already have them. I'm just gonna bring a bunch. And then we can figure out where to plant my yams. Maybe down here. Yeah, let's just go down here. Um, put it here. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five. S wait, that's eight, right? Six. Seven. So eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. There you go. what in the winter when nothing is growing then we can organize our farm sounds good all right perfect even if you said no i would refuse to accept that as an answer have you ever played on the beach farm i have not because every time i start a new game i'm like wow i should consider playing on a different farm and then oh i got a petrified slime and then every time I go, I like become paralyzed with indecisiveness and I go, okay, but which one? And then I'll read the pros and cons of each farm and I'll be like, okay, like maybe I should try like the forest farm. But then I'm like, but what if I want this thing and I can't because that farm doesn't allow for that. And then I just end up playing on the regular one. Because I'm too much of a coward to change. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot help my indecisiveness. It is. I was gonna say it's a blessing and a curse, but that's wrong because it's literally just a curse, I feel. Start fucking gamers. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Is there, do you still play on the standard farm or do you now have a specific one that you prefer? I'm considering after I, I don't think I'm going to try for completion on this farm to be completely honest because I don't have the patience for completion, but I want to play through because like we've only just started exploring the other island that I don't remember what it's called. But after I play through all of those, I might take a break from Stardew and then Oh, let's upgrade our let's upgrade something. Let's let me go back to the bus stop. We can grab some more. I might take a break from Stardew and try playing some other games. Maybe the Sims. Maybe something else. And then I wanna play the expanded mod for Stardew. And basically what I'm saying is when I go play the extended expanded mod maybe then i will decide to play on a different farm maybe that is that will be the time i play play it on the four corners one the normal one the beach farm. i consider the four corners one just because it was like perfect for my indecisiveness but then i was like you know what fuck it <laughs> uh the normal one and the beach one and the river you like the beach one the most what is it specifically like about it because, like, they all have their perks, right? So, like, I think the forest farm, obviously, more lumber, and you can get foraging in your farm. And then I think you can get mushroom trees more often. Um, I don't know what the Riverland one is. Isn't that one just so, like, it's easier to find fish on your farm? 
And then I think there's there's the monsters one, which is like monsters can spawn in your farm, obviously. Um, I think is the beach one similar to Riverland, or I think the beach one like was is it that things can spawn randomly on the shore, and then you can like pick up like valuables that way or something. Oh my god, I forgot that I have to do this quest. I can't leave it for the last day again. The amount of space and the things can spawn. Oh. I thought there was like decreased space on the beach farm. Because it's like, isn't that the point? Is like, there's less growing space? Nope, this is the wrong one. I was supposed to go to the bus stop. Sometimes there's coral, but there's also stuff that washes up. Oh, interesting. Maybe I will consider <laughs> that one for next time. If we can break boxes and get random items like bombs and fertilizer. Oh, that is very cool, actually. Speaking of bombs, we should make some. And every time I forget what I need for them. Oh. I made them all. What do I need for the big boys? Gold, solar... All right, let's go to the mines because I need to do this one. Beach farm doesn't allow oh sprinklers. That's what it was. It was that yeah, you can't put sprinklers down. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Usually how I make my m passive income in the game is I just plant a lot of crops. Specifically the ones that are like, uh... Like, you plant them once and then they will just, like, continuously give you um, crops every few days. And then I just jar them all. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, we should be... I keep forgetting that I need to go up to Robin to, like, try to get a mill or a fish pond. Because those are also things I've never done before. <laughs> but I keep forgetting. Okay. Where does this prismatic sh slime spawn stitch it? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Prismatic slime. How to get. Oh, okay. It's floor five of the mines. Okay. Oh, so it's basically anywhere a slime can spawn. All right. Okay, luck today. Oh, this is perfect because slimes can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. Get out of here. You know, I realized when I was um trying to get enough wo uh, stone for Robin that maybe I should have gone to the like lower level floors because less likely to spawn ore so more likely that it's just plain rocks you know what i mean things th that i should have been smart about <laughs> big brain but big brain too late because i failed her quest <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm gonna go. Oh, well, that's, that's the door, never mind. Um, so, if we don't easily find the ladder on this floor, I might go to 
the like 40s because I need more silver ore basically so might as well get two and one there she can get the stone herself I mean 1000 stone in one week is a tall order from a farmer okay that's what I'll say that's my defense She also didn't even post what her reward was. So really, what is the... Uh, other than the goodness of my own heart. How can you expect me to want... Is that a prismatic one? Because it's, it's glowing. Did I find it already? <gasps> wow, look at that! First try! Wow, look at that! That's pretty pog, if I say so myself. That's like a one point. What is it? What was the drop rate? I searched it up. It was like a one point two percent chance to be a prismatic slime. All right, let's go. We can complete this quest. It's the game being like, sorry for your stone woes. Um, I'm trying to. Oh, that's probably going to bus stops probably fastest to get there. You didn't know that. Yeah, it's like I I literally just searched it up. This is why I can tell you. <laughs> um. Basically, when you get the quest, like, so they don't spawn unless the quest, you have the quest active to get, like, this quest right here. And this is from, like, the the weekly board, so that's new for you mobile players. I almost said plebs, but then I was like, no, maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, and so it spawns anywhere a slime can spawn in the mines, and but it's, like, a 1.2% chance to be replaced with a... Uh, prismatic slime which is why it was all rainbow colored and we got well we didn't first try it but we like pretty much first we first dated it that's what i'll say yeah look at that feels good to be lucky but only for things like this never lucky in real life First thing there, I was like, I can't come inside. Uh, can I just talk to you first? Okay. Uh, then I have to give it to him. Here you go. Nice. Thank you. We did a great job. I realized maybe I should have stayed in the mines. Frog! to just get more silver ore since I need it anyways, but whatever. Whoop, whatever. Oh, here's another hardwood tree. Let's cut this down. Did I close these doors for my animals? I didn't. They're gonna be not happy with me about that. There you go. I'm sorry, little guys. <laughs> Yuck, ew, no. <laughs> Is everything all right over there? <laughs> um, okay. Oh no, oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh no, <laughs> how can I help? Oh no! Are you the type that kills spiders or do you let them go? Because I am in the killing spiders boat, so I hope you can catch it. Whatever you want to do it for you. Kill it for me? I would if I could. How big is it actually? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's true, I do the same thing. It's big? Oh no no! Do you have like a slipper or like a shoe? Just real quick slap it on there. Oh no! <laughs> ah! I'm so sorry for your spider woes. Oh, that's really big. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! I don't like that. Maybe if you ignore it, it will ignore you. We can like live in harmony, you and the spider. Maybe. Oh, you don't have steady long, like, eee! But even the little, like, legs are, like, 
make me squirmy. Is there anyone else around you that can help you kill it? I'm gonna go, go, go ask for help. I'll watch the spider and make sure it doesn't leave. Everyone's sleeping. No. <laughs> I I have woken up a friend before to kill a spider for me. I will not lie. I have definitely done that. Um, not saying that you should, but it is something you can do. You can consider. Oh no! What are you gonna do? I would come kill it if I could. Oh no! <laughs> it's the world telling you to not eat. They're like, hey, no midnight snacks. No, no late time. <clears throat> you just ate. I mean, hey. Always time for a second dinner. <laughs> oh no! What if you run past the living room to get to... The kitchen and grab something and then run back to your room. Oh no. I have to go to bed hungry, just been thwarted by a spider. Midnight snack run. Ruined. <laughs> it's probably just like watching you chill. It's just chill in there. Okay, okay, okay. So don't go close to it because then it'll start moving. So you can just really casually walk by like nothing's wrong. Grab a snack and then walk back to your room. <laughs> I spilled my tea all over my desk like a dumbass. Because I wasn't watching where I was pouring. I really thought I could pour tea without spilling it. <laughs> it's a good test. Let's see. If it moves, you gotta just bolt back to your room, close the door, and pretend nothing's wrong. I am very invested in your spider story. Ew, why did it move? Alright. Looks like there's no snack for you, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm heading on. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a good idea. Please run away from the spider whenever possible. Um... I got monster musk. Fuck that. I don't even know where I would, what I would even find for that is monster. Oh, here, monster musk. Spray this out on. Spray this on to draw more monsters. That makes sense. I could. I don't know why I thought it would be something different. Oh, I hate that feeling. I hate that feeling a lot, too. It's a bad feeling when you feel like it's crawling. I hate that creepy crawly feeling. It's the worst. I might replace these strawberries up here with uh, coffee beans. Maybe. Haven't decided. Oh, a bug spray? How do those work? I've always heard of them, but I've never actually used them. I usually. I just do the old fashioned method of I grab a shoe and I. and I slap it, but then that. 
bodes the unfortunate consequence of if I miss, the spider has a chance to attack and then I cry a lot. Yeah, or sometimes, so sometimes I miss and the, and the spider bolts and then I cry and I scream. Um, other times, the spider is not fully dead, so I like, it's the worst feeling when you hit it and then you're like, is it dead? And then you're standing there with your shoe on the wall, very vulnerable, and you have to like slowly peel it off. To check if you've killed it, and then sometimes you have, and then you have to deal with the aftermath of the fact that now there's a spider gut on your shoe. And then sometimes, unfortunately, you have not, you have not cleared it, and then it starts squirming, and then now you have a half-dead spider. It's a zombie spider. And I cried. <laughs> That's why I use the spray. But I feel like the spray... Like, does it does it kill them? I feel like the spray would... I don't know. Maybe I've just never used the spray, so I don't know. Because, like, how long do you have to hold it to kill it? Like, what if it runs away? What if it starts running while you, like, spray it? Oh, it kills them? But, like, does it... Is it... Instantaneous? Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know it was that fast. Maybe I should consider. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, maybe I'll grab one. I'll find it. I, where do you even buy spider spray? Like, at Walmart? <laughs> Wait, what did you do to the one spider that didn't die? Oh, can be toxic for you too, but like you have to leave the room. Oh, that makes sense. I and I guess you'd have to like air, let it air out for a little bit too, so it's not like too enclosed of a space. Probably wouldn't be a good idea. Ask <laughs> my brother to kill. It. Okay, the thing is, when I ask my brother to kill things for me, I don't know if your brother does this either, or he will grab either catch the spider and then run around the house chasing me with it. Or he just won't do it. He'll be like, he'll just laugh at me. He'll be like, you do it. You're you're just as big as a spider. And I'll and then I cry because then I'm like, what the heck? Or sometimes I ask my dad to kill it, and he just like walks so leisurely, like this is not an emergency. And I'm like, hello, the spider is running away into my bed. Can you act with a little bit more urgency? Thank you. A <laughs> bonk. <laughs> I can't. He's older than me, so he will probably hit me back and then I'll cry. Is this ready yet? Not yet. Okay. <coughs> Fight fire with fire. I don't have a bok choy, Sandy. Or do I? Oh, I missed someone's birthday. I missed Penny's birthday. It's okay. Apparently we're still dating, even though I'm married. Do I have a bok choy? Chase him with the centipede. If I could pick the centipede up, I wouldn't... I wouldn't feel the need to ask him to help me kill it. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do this quest and then we can go to the mines today. <laughs> I'll also bring her a crocus. And then I will put other stuff in here. Maybe not this one. Put it in here. So what do I want I need? This, 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 this. Okay, and... Uh, let's just spend the whole day in the mines today, why not? Put this here. And we'll grab some bombs. Feel like streaming away from the living room for the next few months. Also valid. I feel the same way. 
wherever I saw the bug glass, I immediately refused to go down there. Except one time I saw it in the laundry room, and then the next time I had to do laundry, I like was like, Ugh, what do I do? What do I do? I have to do laundry, but that means I have to go see the stinky spider. Or like one time I was in the laundry room. Apparently we're just gonna talk about bugs all stream. <laughs> but one time I was in the laundry room and I was like washing some delicates. Like hand I was hand washing them first before I put them in the washing machine. And um, I felt something crunchy and I'm like, why is that crunchy? I shouldn't have anything crunchy in my delicates. And then I realized that a spider had made its way up the pipe and I was using water obviously I was using the tap and it like came down with the water into my delicates and I had just crushed it with my hands as I was trying to wash my delicates and I was like what do I do I like immediately flung it away but then I was like but I need to finish washing them and now I possibly have spider guts all over my clothes oh, it was a bad time <laughs> Did I say each one has 22? Let me see. 10. It's 24. 24 times 2 is 48. Oh, shit. I was one of those. Put that. So that's 40, and then I have to buy more. Oh, fuck. That's more than... I can't do math. That's 50. Whatever. <laughs> I figured it out. Whatever. Yeah, bad experiences with spiders. I've had a lot of bad experiences with spiders, it seems. But like, I would like to think most people have also had bad experiences with spiders, and I'm not just like a wimp that somehow is unluckily, unlucky enough to experience it. I also feel like, I don't know, maybe it's like confirmation bias, but it's like, I feel like because I don't like bugs, I see, I feel like I interact with them more often, but it might also be because like, my older brother or like my other family members who don't care about bugs, don't call, don't make a fuss when they see it. So then for them, it's like no big deal. The male spiders? The spiders hide in your house. Oh, they explore to find a female. Well, they need to keep it away from me, alright? Because I ain't gonna help them find a female spider. It's like when you see a spider while you're showering, it's like, hello, you peeping Tom. What the heck? So now all all spiders are perverts because they're also male and trying to find a love interest. I will shame them for that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh no, that's you're literally stuck, helpless, and afraid. That happened to me once where I was in um like I was on vacation, so I was like at an Airbnb. And I was like going to the washroom. So I was sitting on the toilet and I look over at the counter where I have to go to wash my hands. And there's just a house centipede chilling there. And I'm like, well, what am I gonna do? Because even if I sacrifice my hygiene for my sanity and don't wash my hands, I will have to uh, walk past the kitchen sink in order to leave the washroom. So I tried to kill it with a tissue, like a piece of toilet paper, which may I add is small as heck. And um, so it, it, I only, I only managed to kill half of it. So like, I got like three of its hind legs and then it scampered away and I wanted to cry. Um, and then I proceeded to wash my hands and go to bed and 
pretend I didn't see anything because now I know there's like a half dead centipede crawling around the house. Come to the Netherlands, we barely have centipedes. I, I mean, Netherlands is on my is on my to travel to list, so maybe I should go there, see if I like living there, and permanently move. <laughs> ah, that's that's. I will go anywhere where there are less bugs. Oh no. Oh no, bats. Bats, oh no, these things. I'm just gonna hide in this corner. And I hope nothing comes from behind to ambush me. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Please go away. Oh my god, please. I am not a fighter. This one is trying to ambush me! I am not a fighter, I am a lover. Okay, I survived, thank god. We do have places with a lot of spiders, but that's outside of cities. You're not selling your case very well. But I feel like no matter where you go, there's gonna be spiders, but... Oh, I think I'd rather deal with spiders than house centipedes. But doesn't it also really depend on, like, how clean... The places because like I know like for example my friend lives in an apartment and no matter how clean they keep their apartment they still ha encounter bugs and spiders because like the people in the other apartments aren't keeping their those apartments clean just don't live in a village all right <laughs> go there to visit but I will not go there to live I have family that lives in Hong Kong, and I like went to visit, and it was like a really nice city. Um, so I was like, wow, maybe if I ever want to move to the big city, I can consider Hong Kong. And then I found out later that Hong Kong is apparently like the cockroach central of the world. And I was like, what the fuck? No, thank you. Never mind. I take it back. So I am not living there. Also, then I grew up and realized I don't like hustling, bustling life. I would rather just chill and not have to, like, be on the go 24-7. I am not the grind. Hashtag the grind. That, that does not match me. Is there an internship in a village? That's so many spiders. Oh no! Oh my god, that's insane! And I guess you don't clean it because it's like a bus stop? I guess, I mean, like, I wouldn't clean it. And then I don't know who's being hired to clean that shit either. Like, oh, that is, that is, I don't like that. At least you made friends with your neighbors. Maybe, maybe friends, maybe not friends. <laughs> From asking them about the spider so many times. I know there's like, isn't there like... Australia, lovely country. Would love to visit. However... Would I live there? Absolutely not. Because isn't there like a time of the year there that like spiders, it'll like rain spiders because they like make webbed, um, almost like parachutes. And then they use these parachutes to like fly, <laughs> burn it. That's fair. That's a very good solution. <laughs> But they will like use the parachutes to like fly to other places and then I would cry because like what do you mean it's like you look outside and it, the forecast today is spider like what
Oh, I thought that was only one spider type for one area. Maybe, maybe it might be just one specific area, to be honest. Um, but I heard about it and I was forever traumatized. It's like when I was a kid, my dad was like, look at this video. And the video was basically saying like, if you don't wash your strawberries properly, there can be bugs in them that look like they're seeds. But that was never like properly communicated to me. So I just thought, oh my god, all strawberries have bugs in them. So then I refused to eat strawberries for the next like 10 years of my life. Until I realized that, no, if you just wash your strawberry properly, like this won't be a problem. <laughs> Then I was like, and then I told my dad about it later, and I was like, did you know that when you told me this, I thought you meant this? And he's like, well, that's dumb. Why did you think that? And I'm like, I was like, seven. What do you expect? But yeah. So now, even now, I'm like, uh, I don't love strawberries. I have childhood trauma. Like, I know, logically, I'm like, this strawberry does not have bugs in it but then i think about all the years of my life where i have been cautious of strawberries because of the bugs the because of the bug video and i go i can't unsee it now it is impossible oh god i only i like i, I saw a glance of your message and i saw one time i bit and then i'm just thinking about what we have been currently talking about and i go oh no 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 Time you've been to a cherry to find a worm. Oh no! Like a maggot or something? Oh no, just a worm. Oh, okay. So wait, so you, d you hadn't bitten it yet? Please tell me you had not bitten it yet. Okay, God, thank goodness. Oh, an iridium. I want that. Uh, we'll throw out sap. So no more cherries for me? Very valid. That would also forever taint cherries for me. I have like a similar reaction to milk because in for a, a long part of my life um oh god I like had terrible luck with milk and would consistently manage to drink spoiled milk so then I got really really um what's the word nervous every time I had to drink milk so I would always smell it first um but then, one time I was sick, and I obviously could not smell, so I asked my friend, Hey, can you smell this milk for me, because I don't, I don't want to drink spoiled milk. And she was like, yeah, sure! And she smells it, she's like, smells fine, you're good. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna die. Sorry, I did not want to die there. Let's leave. So then I, and then I drank it. No, even with, like, the expiration date lies! Because I would check the expiration date and it would be like, you're fine, you're good, this milk is totally not expired. And then I would drink it and it was expired! And it was like, the best before date has not even passed, what do you mean it's expired? And I would get really angry. Um, but yeah, so then I drank it because she told me it was fine, and guess what? It was not fine, disgusting taste. So then I told her, I'm like, this was, this, this, you lied, or, well, I didn't tell her she lied, I was just like, you were wrong. It tastes bad. And then she was like, yeah, you know, I actually didn't smell it. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was so mad. I'm like, why would you Why would you do that to me? Well, I was so mad. <laughs> Even thinking about it now, I'm like, why would you just lie to me like that? Like, you could have at least been like, oh, sorry, I can't, I don't have time to smell it for you right now. Or like something. Instead of just being like, oh, yeah, I actually didn't smell it. I was so mad about it. Um, let's put this here.
Oh, no, fine, go again. <laughs> oh, no. So this diamond. You would be forever haunted by that pine cone. At this rate, I feel like you should just pick the pine cone up and like throw it out so you can't continue to haunt you. I totally have time to be doing this, maybe. It's just because I'm so speedy, I feel bad about wasting all this speed. Um, I have played Skyrim, but I stopped almost like within the first 10 hours because I realized I got really nervous every time I had to go into the mines. Like, not the mines, sorry. Like, like go into a dungeon because I'd be like, oh my god, is there going to be someone around the corner? I just don't do well with jump scares. I mean, they're not even jump scares. It's just like you go around the corner and there's a skeleton and then I would scream. Um, so I, I stopped playing Skyrim very quickly. <laughs> I just play Stardew instead. There are no spiders in Stardew. Are there? I don't think so, actually. No spiders to be seen in this wonderful game. Does Elden Ring have spiders? <laughs> oh, there is one in, in, in the Halloween event, huh? I forgot about that one. Well, there's one spider. Compared to multiple spiders, it works out. Okay. And that was a wonderful talk about spiders. Wonderful in quotation marks because I'm, I hate spiders. <laughs> but I think I'm going to call it here for the day. I just wanted a nice little chill Stardew session in between my busy busy weekend and studying and doing work so thank you for hanging out i hope your future is spider free and i hope you have a good rest of your night i will hopefully i don't want to i didn't want to say hopefully because i felt like i had said hoped way too many times in that sentence but i guess i couldn't think of a different word i am hoping planning i'm hoping to stream i gave up i'm hoping to stream Sometime this week, maybe on Wednesday. Um, maybe Stardew, maybe Pokemon, we'll see. And until then, <laughs> thank you. That is that is the manifestation I need in my life. No spiders, no centipedes, just Stardew, just cats. Let's let's bring let, let me see more cats in my life. Um, but until then, I hope everyone takes care and stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Have a good rest of your day.